How you doing? Thanks for checking in with the Econo Challenge. I am walking in my favorite forest. Closed canopy, mixed hardwood and softwood, beautiful shaded forest. And it has been my favorite place to explore and film. You've seen it many times on my videos. Last year, about a year, almost exactly from this time, we had a really devastating storm go through this area. It's called the Duracho, and it flattened some old growth forest, some really old hardwood trees. It was absolutely devastating and amazing all at the same time, and I filmed it, and there'll be a link above my head so you can go and check that video out. But I wanna bring you back exactly a year later and show you what we did with the place. And when I say we, I mean mankind. So what I want to do with this segment is I'm just going to revisit the walk that we did in that previous video and I'll cut in some shots from the way it was after the storm to the way it is now. And then I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to try not to comment. I'm sure you must figure out since I'm filming this, I'm a little devastated. I was devastated last year, but that was an act of nature. And now I'm curious to see what you have to say in the comments down below. Now right away, this section right here, I came around the corner and it was just trees. Trees across this road as far as the eye could see. And I thought, it's an old skitter road. We're not gonna do any more logging. So they'll probably just leave it closed now forever. Just let it be. This is an area in the video where we were just picking our way through all of the trees that were lying over on the ground. They're all gone. We've harvested them all, and this is what we've left. But we, we, and I mean the people that were hired to harvest this wood, they didn't just take the trees that were knocked down. They took a few that weren't knocked down while they were in here. You can tell by the stumps. I mean, in some respects, I have to marvel at our ability <laughs> with the machinery that we have now, what we can do out here. <sighs> and what I'm trying to show here is we've taken the large logs for sure. And we've left a lot of the smaller stuff and the branches and the tops of the trees. We left all that out here. And uh, I think that answers the question is we did this to help avoid leaving a huge load of fire material in the forest. All the stuff that's going to burn really well we've left and it's all going to dry out and be ready to burn all at about the same time. I mean, you just, you have to be in awe of the efficiency of what we were able to do with this area of natural devastation. I don't know. Now that you've been back here with me, you saw it last year after the storm, and hopefully I'm able to show you what it looks like now. curious to uh, see what you guys have to say in the comments down below.